it going everybody my name is shotgun shippy and i just wanted to give you guys a quick introduction about myself before we jumped into this dynasty i'm a college student i'm still in school but i'm hoping that i'll be able to make videos while also being able to do that just one little quick fact about me is i own a dog he's right here in the back as you, if you can see him he's like right where's he at where's he at right there yep he's hit, hitting a little bit he's just a blue nose pit he's a cutie he's a sweetheart you guys will be able to see him a little more as videos come out he loves to hang out with me especially when i'm in this room uh another thing about me is i love pokemon i've got a few back here specifically one of my favorites right here rallet that's my favorite pokemon and there's some more behind me as well as well as yoshi i'm just a gaming fan i've always loved playing games and i wanted to be able to put those out so you guys could know who you're looking at before we got into this one more thing that i wanted to get into before we get going I plan on doing this main dynasty with the Chanticleers, but you guys can also expect me to put out some rebuilds for teams, as well as some just football commentary. I am a massive fan of football. I love to watch football. So I'm hoping that I'll be able to put some videos out for that for you guys to enjoy. Besides that, there's not much more for me to talk about myself. I just want to jump into this and I hope you guys enjoy. All right, we're going to go ahead and jump into the team that we're going to be using. Obviously, we're going to be running it with Coastal Carolina for this dynasty team has struggled it has been really bad for the past few years and who better than your very own shotgun shippy to come in and bring this team to the promised land all right here we go head coach shotgun shippy coming in to help this team out now i personally as a coach not much of a game manager i love to let my team go out there let my guys perform and let my guys manage themselves so that's not what i'm gonna be focused on i'm gonna be specifically focused on recruiting Obviously the most important part of a young team that's struggling a little bit is you gotta bring in good talent. So I wanna make sure that we as a program are able to find the best talent so we can recruit the best guy. So I'm just gonna go ahead and max out that scouting. Now, as you know, a head coach doesn't make a team. Obviously you need the players, but you also need a good offensive and defensive coordinator. You need some good coaches that can help those guys out and help them develop. Luckily, I was able to bring one of my good friends with me the defensive coordinator, Chad Staggs, who brought that staggering defensive presence on the line back in the day. You know, with a name like Staggs, that boy was out there moving bodies. And so that's what he's gonna be focused on. Big D-line guy, focuses a lot on the front seven, making sure that box is getting filled, making sure that this team is doing good. So I'm gonna focus on charge to start with him. We're gonna make sure our defensive line is getting a lot better pass rush, a lot better power, finesse moves, and hopefully that can you know work its way into the linebacking core as well. So that's what we're gonna go with, with Chad Staggs. Now the offensive coordinator who is already here, his name's Willie Korn. <laughs> It's a it's a weird name. He's a he's kind of a weird guy. He's a little corny. He's, he makes some weird jokes, but I think he has a good chance to work with me and Chad. And I think we can bring this team now. What I talked about with Willie Corn is that we want to make sure our offense is up tempo. We want to make sure that we are not getting hurt. We're keeping our stamina up. We're not getting tired on the field so that we can provide nonstop pressure and hopefully allow our defense to, you know, get a little bit of rest because we can stay out on the field because we're not as tired. So I'm going to go up tempo with Willie Corn, make sure that we can do a good thing out there. And that finishes our coaching group. All right. Now that we looked at the coaching staff with me, Chad, and Willie that you know that are going to be here for at least the first year and hopefully years to come we're going to go ahead and dive into the schedule if you're looking at the top and you're thinking that looks rough you're right it is and we made it that way for a reason we're really hoping that this team could compete at the beginning of the year and you know show some promise for years to come up first we go to Miami playing at their home turf for the first game of the year I think for them they want this to be a good booster game for their fans and for their program and let them you know start the year off right I'm hoping we can just go in there and compete maybe even pull off an upset after that we play our first game in the Sun Belt Conference against University of Louisiana Monroe it's going to be a fun game it's going to be interesting in this conference this year there's going to be some competition I'm hoping we can compete after that we play against Arkansas we're bringing them to our home turf now I was born in Arkansas. I like Arkansas, but I'm not gonna let that affect me this game. I just wanna go out there and do the best that my team can do. Maybe even win, we'll see. After that, we play against the powerhouse, Georgia, them dogs. This game is gonna be rough. I know it, we all know it going in. I'm hoping we can do something. After that, we go into nothing but Sunbelt Conference games for the rest of the year. Starting off with Texas State, 
after that we have two weeks off i think this will be good for the team after that tough start to the year it'll give us some time to really recuperate and bring our full force forward for the rest of the year up next we go to troy then we play arkansas state then louisiana western kentucky southern miss against marshall and for the last game of the year we're going to be at home against appalachian state this is our rival this is the rivalry game it's the biggest game of the year and i'm really excited to see what happens and i'm excited to see how this rivalry goes for years to come and now for the moment that you've all been waiting for let's get introduced to the team all right here we go jumping right into it with the most important position on the field we got the quarterback we got grayson mccall rocking it behind center He's a senior, it's his final year. He's the captain of this team. I'm excited to see what he does. Backing him up, we got Bryce Carpenter and Jarrett Guest. Going over to the halfback position, we got Braden Bennett, Reese White, Aaron Bedgood, and CJ Beasley rounding that off. Going to the fullback position, we ain't got a fullback. I'm hoping that's something we can fix in recruiting, but for now, we're gonna be rocking it with Jacob Jenkins. He's our backup tight end, and I'm hoping he can fill into that slot pretty well. Going over the wide receivers, up first we got Sam Pickney, hoping I can get that name a little better as the year goes on, Tyson Mobley, Jared Brown, Chris Roan, Tyler Roberts, and at the very bottom, Dion Fountain. Going into the tight ends, we got Xavier Gravett, and of course there he is again, Jacob Jenkins, and rounding that off, we got TJ Ivey Jr. at the bottom. Going over the line, at left tackle we got Donald Wilson, Will McDonald at left guard, at center, we got Willie Lampkin with Tyler Wagner behind him. Willie Moyes is at right guard with Dylan Luther there as well. And on right tackle, we got Antoine Loper with Zavon Lindsay behind him. Going over to the defensive side, starting on the defensive line, we got Jaquan Griffin at left end. At right end, we got Kennedy Roberts with Roland Wooden behind him. At defensive tackle, we got Gerard Clark and Travis Geiger Jr. And behind them, we got Alan Henry. On the left outside linebacker side, we got Josiah Stewart with Adrian Hope there as well. In the middle, we got JT Killen and Mason Shelton. And on the right side, we got Shane Bruce with Trey Pinckney behind him. Going over to the secondary, a cornerback, we got DeJordan Strong, Lance Boykin, Manny Stokes Jr., and Matthew McDoom. And at the bottom, Jacob Prochet. At free safety, we got Tobias Fletcher back there with his backup being Matthew McDoom. A little bit more on him later. On the strong safety side, we got Jamar Brown with Charles Arnold Jr. behind him. Going into special teams, our kicker is going to be Cade Hensley. Our punter is going to be Evan Crenshaw. And our kick returner is going to be Reese White and Jared Brown. Those are going to be our two guys for kick return. And they're going to also be the main two for punt return as well. Over here on the kickoff specialist is going to be Evan Crenshaw, obviously. He's got a good leg on him. I think he's going to be good at that. Going over to the long snapper, we got that boy Willie Lampkin. And that is the team. And just real quick, I wanted to go ahead and go over the guys that are going to be red shirting this year. Up first, we got our quarterback, Bryce Archie. Next, we got two young freshman wide receivers. We got DeAndre Coleman and Ryan Black. Following those two, Trey Brown at middle linebacker is going to be one of those young guys we redshirt. And then two of the young cornerbacks that are going to be redshirted this year is Elijah Hopkins and Jared Cameron Jr. And last, but certainly not least, we got sophomore Dre Pinckney as the final guy that's going to be redshirted. Now just real quick before we continue this offseason and get into the beginning of the year, I wanted to go over a few of the key players that I want you guys to keep an eye on throughout this year. Up first, we got our quarterback again, Grayson McCall. He's a pretty fast guy. He's not too slow. And another good thing about him, he's got a pretty decent arm and some okay accuracy. Up next is Braden Bennett, a young sophomore who's going to be our number one halfback. He ain't the fastest guy in the world. But if you look at some of his stats, he's a really well-rounded guy. With a good stiff arm, good spin move, good juke move, and great carrying. Up next, we got another young guy that I'm really excited to see. It's our freshman wide receiver, Jared Brown, who's going to be rocking the number three wide receiver position this year. Another guy who isn't super speedy, but he's got good acceleration. And he's not too bad at being shifty with a good spin move and juke move, decent carrying, and a pretty decent, well-rounded route running, catching, 
in catching traffic as long as it's a spectacular catch. He's just a well-rounded guy. Up next, the anchor of our offensive line. We got that senior center, Willie Lampkin. He is a great blocker. He's got strong pass block, strong run block, and strong impact blocking rating. Now moving over to the defensive side of the ball, we got our senior captain, Josiah Stewart, on the left outside linebacker spot. He's a decent tackler, he's got decent hit power, he's got really good block shed, and he's got really good play rec. I think he's gonna be able to make a lot of plays for this team. Another defensive stud that I'm super excited to see is the young freshman, Matthew McDoom. He's known for being really good in coverage. He's got really good man and zone coverage, as well as his press at only a freshman. I think he's got a lot of room to grow. He's gonna also be the backup free safety on this team. He's gonna see the field and he's gonna get a chance to shine. And the last guy I wanted to highlight for you guys is our punter, Evan Crenshaw. He's got a pretty good leg. He's got good accuracy. Something I wanna show you guys real quick that I think was gonna surprise some teams. He's got pretty decent throw power and throw accuracy. He might have a chance to get away with a few fake punts throughout the year. All right, guys, now that we've gone over the roster and a few of the specific key players that I'm really excited to see this year and years to come, we're gonna jump into my favorite part about being a coach and what I imagine a lot of people love about coaching in the NCAA is, we're gonna jump right into recruiting. Now, the first thing that I kinda wanna focus on is that if you look at our position needs, this team is losing a lot of key players. We're losing a lot of depth. We're gonna need to find a lot. One specific thing we're gonna have to find a lot of is that defensive line, looking at defensive tackle and defensive end. The rest is not too far off. Obviously, I wanna find that fullback. I wanna find the future fullback of this team. And hopefully we can find a stud quarterback to replace Grayson in coming years. So let's jump into it. Another thing that I kind of want to look at is how many people actually want to come to Coastal Carolina and play with our team. So we're going to go ahead and sort this out by the top five interest in Coastal Carolina and see we got 83 matches. That ain't bad. Now one thing I'm seeing that's a little unfortunate, but we'll be able to make that better over time is we only got three star players that are interested in coming here. But you know what? That's not bad because three star and below, that's the foundation of your team. You're only going to be able to bring in so many four and five stars every year, but having and finding those good three stars is really important to the team. So let's see if we can find some gems in here. Okay, so I went ahead and found 20 guys that were interested in coming here, kind of highlighting some of those team needs that we had. And I went ahead and dropped five of them. They weren't very good. They dropped down a little farther than what I'm looking for, but I'll go ahead and show you guys the results of what we got. First off, I found a gem, Chip Roberts. He's a tackle. The one thing that kind of sucks, he is a Juco, but I think at a 79 overall, if we can bring this guy in, he'll be a good tackle for those two years that he can play. He could really help this team out. On the defensive line side, I found Scott Calhoun, who's pretty decent, and Jordan Ware. He dropped a little bit, but I think these two guys could be some pretty good depth to bring in. For defensive end, I found James Gooden, who was a bust, but at 66 overall, he might be able to help this team. Leonard Ramsey is a guy I'm pretty excited about. I'm happy to see that he's interested in coming. He's got some pretty good power and finesse and block shed. He's a guy that could definitely develop over years. Tyler Tatum was another pretty decent guy that I found. I think that with if I could get maybe two of these defensive ends right here, I could be pretty happy. Going to Ryan Carroll, this is a guy that I'm actually really interested in. He's an athlete, but he definitely is more focused on the defensive end side. If you look at his block shed and his finesse moves at 70, that is, those are some skills that I think could really help him. He's got some good acceleration. He's got some good tackle and play rec. This is a guy that I really want to bring in and be able to put on that defensive end. I was able to find a fullback. I know he's a 59 overall, but I'm, I'm definitely a fan of what he provides. He's got some pretty decent pass blocking, okay run blocking. Not too bad out of the backfield as a catcher either and some good acceleration. This is somebody that I really hope we can bring in. I'm glad he was interested. Going over to tight end, I found Graham Ellison. This is the guy that I really wanna bring in. He's got pretty good speed for a tight end, as well as some good catching and route running. This is a guy that I think could be really helpful. He's not as great of a blocker, but that's not what I want him for. Richie Luke's another guy I found. He's a little bit more of your blocking type, but he's a little slower. He's definitely someone I think I'd be happy to get, but Graham Ellison's definitely the guy that I'm wanting. John Jackson's another guy who like, he's all right. He's okay. I think 
I'd be happy with bringing him in too. Really, any of these three, I would not be mad about. But Graham Ellison is definitely my number one tight end. Marquez Long was one of those free safeties I found. He might not look great, but when you really look, he's got pretty good tackling. He's got some good zone, some good press. This is a guy that I could put at free safety, and I think he could develop over time. Matt Moore, someone I'm really excited about. He went ahead and jumped up five overalls. He's got good acceleration, good pursuit some pretty good hit power for a strong safety, as well as some good block shed and press. I think this is somebody who could come in and he could definitely provide for this team in a few years. On the guard side of things, I found Joey Gordon and Kyle Young. They're not great, but I think they could be some good depth for this team. Now that you guys know about the recruiting board that I've set up and the guys that we can hopefully bring in, we're gonna go ahead and wrap this thing up. One final thing I'm going to show you guys before we get out of here. I'm just going to go ahead and show you what shotgun ship he's going to be rocking with for our offensive and defensive play style. We're going to be rocking Coastal Carolina spread offense, focusing a little more on the pass and the run, but we're going to keep it pretty even between that. And on the defensive side, we're going to run a 4-3 with the defense, a little more defending the pass as well. I think if we can get that front seven like we want, we're going to be able to run a little more pass coverage because our run defense is going to be so solid. I hope you guys enjoyed a rundown of the team and a recap of the preseason that we went over in this video. I'm super excited to get this started and I hope you guys are too. Next episode, we're going to jump into the first season and the first game of the year.